Welcome to our channel. For those of you who are new around here, we're Paltai International and we created a sculpting medium called Paltai Premium that looks and feels just like clay but cures stone hard. Check out our other videos to see for yourself what's possible. Today we'll show you how to make a floating palace decorative birdhouse. Find a full list of tools in the description box below. Birdhouses are in two pieces supported by strong stainless steel wires. Square domes like this one begin with a simple template and paper. Cut out two copies in cardboard and hot glue them to a base. Crumpled foil is used to bulk out shapes and keep the cardboard cores dry. Hot glue lightly crumpled in fluffy balls of foil and fill up the middle spaces, using a dowel to roll and level the surface. Hot glue low walls under the roof to act as a lip. Press a simple pyramid foil shape for the bottom end cap. Glue together a simple cardboard box. Make notches on the top edge to hold the sporting wire. Assembled, it should look like this. Also, see the holes just above the lip? These are important for the roof to sit without wobbling. The holes will eventually be filled with Paltai Premium and become tabs on the inside of the roof, which will rest on the top lip of the house. Glue foil over the cardboard and deepen the notches to keep the box from getting wet, and then make two cardboard bases. Glue the roof and box onto these bases. These give you something to hang on to while sculpting. Make sure you can push a wire through the top of the roof to keep a hole open. Now it's time to grab your Paltai Premium. Links to mixing instructions are in the description box below. For this project, we used approximately two and a half pounds of product. When you've a pliable cookie dough consistency, you're ready to start sculpting. Apply the clay five millimeters thick, about a quarter of an inch over the roof and lip. Remember to fill those holes fully. Use a fork to quickly level the shapes and unify the depth. The fork makes it easy to apply additional daubs of Paltai Premium quickly without touching them. The burlap swatch helps to level the surface and keep the tools from sticking. Rolling a dowel or tapping with a stick over the burlap squares up the surfaces nicely. If you're adding on additional detail, remember to stitch it on around the whole edge to survive freeze thaw and in a well ventilated area, lightly burn off any remaining fibres that are unwanted. Cover the end cap with Paltai Premium. Use your tool here, we're using a square and trowel just to get that neatened edge. Go through the same process of the fork and the burlap. A 
and a wooden stick to square off the shape like so. Check your work. Make drain holes in the end cap so collected water won't fill up inside your sculpture, especially if you're going to be putting lights inside. Cover the box fully with Paltire Premium and remember to fill in those notches on the side. And you'll go through exactly the same process using the fork and the burlap. Add your details like we've done here and then we smoothed it to a nice finish. Drill holes where the notches were filled up. This is where the wires will go to support the birdhouse. The notches make the wall thicker for additional strength. And in a well-ventilated area, burn off any unwanted fibres. The completed roof box and end cap. Wrap both parts in plastic for strengthening and curing. Keep wrapped overnight. The next day, add wet towels and then rewrap in plastic for a minimum of five days. After curing, use needle nose pliers to remove the cardboard and foil from the roof. Use a rasp to clean any rough edges, and sandpaper is useful for smoothing surfaces. Make more mess by doing the same with the house core. Altai Premium will cure to a lovely light stone grey colour. Now you have your completed sculpted birdhouse. Now it's time to make the hangers, so with pliers bend an S onto the end of an 8 gauge stainless steel wire. Bend a U shaped wire for the box. Fit this wire into the notch holes. The notches made the clay thicker and stronger to hold the weight. Thread the S wire through the roof and bend another S on the outside. And there you have it. A floating palace for your garden. Now it's just time to grab your exterior grade acrylic paints and let's paint. We started by painting the big areas of colour. Water soluble colour pencils are great for experimenting with different designs and when satisfied you can fill in the patterns with your acrylic paint. We added our fairy lights and popped it up in the garden. A true delight your fully painted birdhouse. Up next in our decorative birdhouse series is our Parisian Bottle Dome Birdhouse. Become a Paltai Insider to get extra content. Thanks for watching.